Ooh. our real estate advisor today with Ashley, our finance expert. Uh, we're just going to run through the qualifying process. So Ashley's going to run through a document he's, he's um, uh, made for us today, which will be emailed out to the team, just to run through the basics on why you should be getting the client uh, pre-approved for finance and that kind of thing to help improve your conversion rate with sales. So Ashley's going to run through his document and then if there's any questions, I will ask the questions as we go through the document. And that's the way we're going to go for it today. So I'm going to shut my video down now. And Ashley, it's over to you. Uh, feel free to introduce yourself, your company and everything else. And then we'll, we'll, we'll run through everything. And, and hopefully we can get this uh, get this qualifying process sorted out today. So people have got a better understanding of what to do. So over to you, Ashley. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Guy. I guess uh, we'll start with just a quick run through uh, our, our business and what we do. Uh, we're real estate agents uh, like you guys, and we are also mortgage planners, uh, also known as mortgage brokers, I guess. Uh, difference between us and mortgage uh, mortgage brokers is uh, that we are a bit more holistic in our approach. Uh, we're concerned with more than just getting people home loans, we're concerned with showing people how to pay their home off quicker. Uh, how to build equity and how to use that equity to uh, grow wealth um, through things like investment property. So we're pretty much um, on on the client side in terms of um, getting them uh, achieving their goals, and it extends a bit more than, as I said, just going out and in a home loan. Um, just to take take you through some of the uh, issues that you need to deal with and why it's important to, um, uh, to have finance as part of your offer. I'm gonna share my screen now. Is that being shared? Yes, mate, I can see the screen, yeah. Okay, great. All right, so uh, why is it important to, uh, for clients to organize finance? Uh, one of the biz biggest mistakes people make is uh, looking for a property before they lock in their finance. Uh, people get taken away with the idea of uh, getting into their home or buying an investment property, but uh, the smart buyers uh, make sure they take the time to get the finance in place before doing that. Uh, the pre-approval process uh, helps, us helps the uh, agent focus on the types of properties that the clients can afford based on the, will the lender's willing willingness to, um, to lend. Uh, six reasons why it's important to organise the finance first is firstly that they know their limits. There's no point you, you guys uh, showing clients properties worth 750000 if the lender's only going to support you up to seven hundred. So uh, by finding this out up front, uh, it's going to save you time and it'll also uh, avoid irritation from your clients because there's nothing worse than showing a client a property, they get all excited about it, uh, you go and get finance and suddenly you can't, you can't, they can't afford to get the property and uh, you're back to square one. Uh, the other important thing is it leaves, uh, leaving them, leaves the purchaser enough time to, um, to, to, uh, to complete the uh, transactions. Um, oh Sorry, mate. Are we going to be able to edit this? Uh, no, mate. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. okay. No, don't, don't worry. Honestly, don't worry about it. We'll 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 go through it. And like I say, um, when I've emailed it out to everybody, if anybody's got any questions, they'll come back to me, or they'll come back to you directly. So. Yeah, it doesn't have to be, you know, um, uh, a Tom Cruise performance, you know what I mean? It's just, oh, we'll go through and make sure they understand that that's, that, that'll do, mate. So, yeah, yeah, you're all good. Don't worry. Keep keep going, mate. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. Well, look, I stopped. I, I paused the recording there, so that wasn't recorded. Yeah. Uh, all right, mate. I just lost my train of thought there for a minute, and... Um... Well, I'd go... I'd just use the, use the documents as your guide, basically. Yeah, yeah, I did. I just, I just got myself all mixed up and looked pretty crappy. Like I said, I don't think this is going to be Tom Cruise, but uh, anyway, You'll we'll, be all right. we'll, we'll continue. Crap, on, mate. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll mute my sound so you can't hear me, and, and I'll, I'll only come on if, if, you, if I've got a question. 
Okay, mate. All, All right, right, mate. So, oh, well, that was recording too. Bugger. Um, okay, uh, nip problems in the bud. It's not uncom uncommon for borrowers to discover they've uh, got problems on the credit file when they go to a pre-approval. Um, or, or there's other issues that uh, the lender's not aware of, uh, could be um, children or in a de facto relationship, in which case the lender would want to look at both parties. Um, so these problems might prevent the borrowers from qualifying for a mortgage, um, which can take months uh, to rectify, and in which case uh, often uh, the, the deal's going to fall over because um, uh, vendors aren't going to wait around for two months for you to get your sort out your finance. Um, they're going to take it, put it back on the market, and someone else is going to get that property. Uh, also, gives yourself options. Um, the an, a, another possibility when uh, organising finance later is there might be only limited numbers of lem lenders able to approve that mortgage uh, in that restricted time frame. So uh, that that can uh, for, that can force them to accept a, a loan from um, any lender, which could involve higher interest rates, higher fees, less fix, flexibility, uh, and fewer features. So part of what we do is not only make sure that the clients can afford the finance, we make sure that we structure that finance uh, to so the clients in best able to control their cash flow, make their payments, pay the home off as quickly as possible and create wealth through investment. Uh, I've just, um, I just got a quick question, mate. Um, what's the average sort of lead time that you need in order to get the pre-approval letter? Like, what's your sort of time frame? Okay. Look, it, 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 when, we get the, when we get the information, uh, the basic information, we can do a quick assessment on the spot. So, you know, it, 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 20 minutes and we, we can we can determine um, in principle what the lender uh, what the buyer's uh, borrowing capacity is but the next step is to get the, the supporting documents so we're on the inside and we understand that we understand the assessment process uh, and we also understand the policies of the of the lenders so um, the, the next step is to get the supporting documentation then we can have a look at that and get you a firm approval. So um, the bottom line is, once the client gets the uh, the documentation back to us, um, and we can we can look at that and we can have that approved in a day. But it's not a bank approval. It's just we just know which lenders will do it based on their policies. Yeah, yeah. So you've you've got a you've got a good idea there of who you can go to, where you can get the money from. And everything else so you're able to move forward with the client because I'm just, I'm just trying to establish from when we get a lead through yeah uh, we pass to you it's a it's a very quick turnaround to find out whether or not that person's financially viable to move forward with what they what they're looking yeah. at so. yes we've got a basic form there which will give us basic in, basic information we'll do us an assessment on that we may have to go back to the client and just find out a few other issues um, for example, uh, the, um, like I said, with the de facto situation, um, we, we might need to go back and find out what the the other partner's uh, income is. Um, but we can we yeah. can get a good indication of that, and uh, that can be done pretty quickly. But then it comes the issue comes into needing pay slips to confirm that income. Um, and look at the, it can be, you can be on a base rate and commission, for example. So a client might say to us, well, I earn a hundred thousand dollars. Well, we might go in and find out the base rates, $40,000 for 60,000 in comms. Okay. And under those circumstances, yeah. well, not every lender is going to accept that as a hundred thousand. No. So no. We, need, we need to confirm what's the nature of that, of that, um, of that income. Another example is you might have an older person in their fifties, um, and they, they, you know, we they might you expect them to retire in about eight years. So we've got the issue of uh, exit strategies. How are they how are they, they going to exit that loan in eight years? So we might need they might need strong uh, a large amount of superannuation to get them in the line. So then the lender knows that on retirement they can use their super to pay out that loan. 
Yeah, yeah, I see. So you you're giving people the the full rundown of the loan length and how it's going to be paid and realistically if it can be paid in the time frame that they're they're um, trying to get it over. So like if it's a 25 year mortgage, if somebody's 50 and they're not going to be able to pay it off in that 25 years, what what are the options for them? Like say with the super and everything else. So it's 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 giving them um, a, a better understanding of of what they're actually getting signing up for. Well, what a, well, yeah, even more than that, guy. If um, if we have a, a, a customer in his fifties uh, looking for a loan, and we, we'll write it over twenty five years, but obviously, you know, the. the um, that that means it's pay it's paid off when when they're in their in their eighties, which is, you know they're unlikely to be working in their eighties. So what we need yeah. to do, we go to the lenders, and we need to give the lenders reasons why they should approve this loan. And if we go yeah. to someone in their fifties who have have no superannuation and want want to make a, a loan, but they're going to retire in ten years, it makes it well we know they're probably not going to get across the line and then we would go back to the agent and say look uh, they're, they're not going to gain finance uh, you're wasting your time uh, move on to the next one is that, yeah, that fair, fair enough. yeah no that's that's good mate yeah so so yeah so then we sort of like to say for example we've got 10 10 leads on on various different properties and we've cut that number down to maybe half or less than half of actual serious buyers because by the time you've done that kind of assessment we, we then know um you know whether or not it's it's worth going ahead further which which improves the conversion rate then because exactly we, we right. have this viable um clients yes yes that's exactly right so if you've got 10 leads and five of them can't uh, uh can't uh, don't qualify well you better knocking them off up out front knocking them out up front and going and doing all that work and then coming coming back to us and saying here's the property can you get them the loan and we turn around and say no we can't they don't qualify yeah exactly so so yeah um sorry mate so if you you want to keep going with the document like that you prepared and then we'll like, like say if i've got any other questions i'll i'll, I'll ask you but I'll, I'll let you um whiz through and do what you've got to do all right okay uh the other one is discovering uh, uh deal breakers uh it depends you know it depends on whether whether the security is acceptable to the lenders. Uh, each lender has different policies. So, you know, one lender may, may loan un, a property under 50 square metres where others won't. Um, so, the, the, you know, the size, the location, um, all, all these factors come into it on, um, uh, on whether, the, whether the lenders will, will, will give you the finance. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm the yeah. And uh, finally, it improves your negotiation position. Uh, vendors will talk to you if you've got cash in your hand. They say they say money talks, and it does. Uh, mm -hmm. If if I if you've got a if you've got a if you've got an approval and you're ready to you, you're ready to sign on the on the dotted line, uh, the vendor's going to talk to you before they uh, talk to a, talk to someone who's um, uh, got going to give them an expression of interest subject to finance and also it, it, it can give you uh, negotiation power too you, you can say i'll I'll, uh, I'll waive any waiting periods um let, let's go straight to settlement i've got the money let's go yeah exactly so if we sort of do a a, a, a what if scenario so let's say for example uh one of the agents has um got a lead through facebook or wherever they've got the person's main contact details they they touch base with them they and they find out some more information and what what the client wants to do um then from there uh the contact information is sent to you ashley and then you contact the client and then get further information then we're looking to get some sort of basic pre-approval letter back from you and no. then we've got Sorry to, that, what, yeah, no, sorry to stop you there, Guy. What we would suggest you do is uh, in part of your initial talks with your, 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 your clients is um, explain to them the finance process, 
and why it's important that they put that up front. And then yep. we provide a link and it's also on the, um, it, it's on, on the website under the finance section. Yeah, yeah. Um, you go in there, there's a finance assessment. They can yep. click on that and go into, which will take them to this document. And it's, it's probably best because you've built up the rapport with the client to go yep. through this document with the client. And it's all I pretty- can't, I, can't, I can't see the documents at the moment, mate. If you can get it up on your screen, I think you need to screen share or something. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, sorry about that. Hang on. No, you're okay. Don't worry. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Um, yeah, there you go. It's come up now. Okay. You can yeah, see so we're, we're, so we're directing the clients to that document to fill that in. Yes. Uh, Correct. So they just go to the website or which is that uh, that address it will take them out to this document yeah then you just need to fill fill that in with the client yep. um, basic employment as i said it's 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 the general basic information we need to get to get started another good thing about this is too is as you go through it it uh it, it, it builds rapport and it also gives you information to assist you in finding a, a suitable property for the client yeah yeah i'm with you so this can probably be done over the phone with the clients if, if the if you know we're not sending it to the client to then fill in we could actually say okay look um, we'll, we'll go through the document with you and just explain to you how to fill it out yep. if you're unsure um, or if they go and have a face-to-face -face meeting with the clients they can sit there with the computer and, and actually go through the questions with them and, and help the, the clients um, fill out the, um, the questions and then once that's been done and that's been sent off to you would you then touch base with the client to then arrange to get a pre-approval letter if possible or to give us a yes or no on whether or not it's worth continuing. Yeah, that, 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 that's right. So th this will give us basic information. Often we need to go back and get, get more, but uh, yeah. we, we, we can make an assessment on this. We might have a look at it and think, oh, I just need clarification on that. We'll follow up uh, with the client, get clarification on a few issues, probably ask, yeah. ask them for pay, a, a few pay slips to get the ball, ball rolling. Yeah, and do uh, uh, yes. So that, that's that's the way the process will work. Uh, also, when you're going through this too, as I said, it'll help you um, uh, in terms of identifying, helping the client get the property that's going to suit them. So things like, why do you want this loan? Is it to buy a home to renovate? It, it it's a talking piece as well. So you're working through working through with the client, getting an idea of their brief. What are they looking for? We're helping with the capacity where, and uh, how we can pay the home off uh, less. Um, so yeah, it, it, it's it's a good it's a good tool for the uh, agents as well to get a good understanding yeah. of the client situation. Well, I think it's from our point of view, it's what we what we're striving for is to is to be um, you know advisory people. As in, we're not trying to be real estate agents to just sell property. We're also trying to make sure we give them the full service so they, they're looked after and they get the property they want and they, they can afford. Yes. And I think by going through this process is probably the best way to do it, to build the rapport up. Yep. Um, I mean, what we conversation we had earlier on today with one of the developers is, is you know, a very big point of difference is actually um, an agent bothering to go and meet with the clients and sit down with them and ask them these sorts of questions to qualify them uh, and just doing that is a massive point of difference because there's so many agents out there that just email things to people you know brochures or floor plans or documents like this and just say okay just fill that out or just look at that and there's no point of difference there but the point of difference is, is if you actually have a face-to-face -face meeting either meet them somewhere or go to the person's home and then you've made the effort and even if they're not and end up being that a buyer at the moment they might be a future buyer down the track and they'll come back to you because you bothered to you know make that effort with them in the first place i think that's very important and i think it really qualifies the the buyer 
Yeah, you yeah, that, that, that's right. I, I mean, we're, we're client focused. We're, 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 clients got a problem, and we're here to give solutions. We're, we, we're not here. We're not here to uh, flog properties and house and, and home loans. I mean, go go to yeah. that. We're, we're, we're here to um, uh, to provide a solution. Whether that's I want to buy, I want to get into my first home, or whether that's where I want to uh, build a property portfolio. I want to create wealth. Well, we, we can do all that. So I need to get an understanding of where you are today, where you're trying to get to, and then we'll provide the vehicle for getting you there. Yeah, which I think, you know, if you, if you, you, the person's making the biggest purchase that I'm going to make in the life, it needs to be handled with care and you need to go that extra mile. It's so easy now to just email people documents and, not bother meeting people face to face and I think that's where the whole process falls down I think the relationship building needs to be there and um, and the full service c controlling the finance aspect controlling the options um, so you don't you know we don't want to give the buyer 10 different options or 10 different builders because they won't be able to pick one yep. it's, it's narrowing it down to exactly what they want and making sure they can actually physically afford to, to you know uh, service that loan that's exactly right. Determine what the client's looking for. Depending, determine what they can afford. Um, once we've got, a, once we've got a clear understanding of um, uh, of their goals, then we just simply go to the market and, and and find the vehicles for that. And that that vehicle might be a, a four bedroom place in Woolloomooloo. Um, well, that's fine. We can do that for you. And in terms of the finance. Um, uh, we we will go out and find uh, get the right structure and then get the products yeah. according to that structure yeah exactly so it's so, a bit more than just going and getting a home loan yeah exactly I'll, I'll let you go through again mate I'll put the um, my sound on mute so you can go through a bit more without me interrupting but yeah I just wanted to sort of establish the process a bit better so people have got a bit bit better understanding of okay well when do, when do I actually speak to Ashley when does the client speak to Ashley um, you know so they understand that process a bit better and then and this um, might be going over a, a week uh, you know they get the lead on Monday and by Friday the person goes to look at the property after they've had a face-to-face -face and you know they've had a conversation with you and everything else so yeah I'll let you continue mate so um, I'll just mute the thing now yeah, and look, the process is done um, simultaneously. Uh, you, you know, you, we, you get the client to fill out the form, we get the information, you're still talking to the client and identifying their needs and qualifying them, uh, and then we just come back with the finance and say, okay, there, there's your capacity. You've spoken to the client about the kind of property uh, that interests them, and uh, uh, so it is done simultaneously. It's not a matter of uh, get the wait, wait for the finance, and then and, and then you guys start going again. Um, yeah. But another thing I, I just wanted to talk about is uh, just to make it, give you an understanding of the pre-approvals. Um, and, and look, a pre-approval is just an indication. Um, the, the lenders aren't bound to it at all, um, and they're, they're not. Uh, they don't. It, just because they say you've got a pre-approval doesn't necessarily mean you've got the money. Uh, the reason why they're happy to give these on-the-spot pre-approvals is, and it only it takes them a short time, um, and they can uh, they can give you that approval. But for a formal approval, it has to go through the assessment process, which is considerably uh, more detailed, and it costs them money. So um, they, uh, a really a, a, an approval from your local bank uh, manager really isn't worth the paper it's written on because it's just based on a whole range of assumptions. So what we do is we, we've got, as I said before, we've got an understanding of their criteria. We'll do the assessments. Uh, and that doesn't mean necessarily we can do it either at the end of the day, because it's not our money and we're not the lender. But uh, we can certainly narrow it down and very, very few loans that we would ever submit to a bank aren't going to go through the approval process because it's not worth our time. It's not worth the client's time. So uh, we want to be pretty sure that uh, we can get the money 
before we uh, we put in the applications. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and look, I guess the last reason and I've touched on some of these points too. Why use AMD mortgage planners? Uh, it's because we're on the inside. Um, we we understand what the uh, assessment process is for various lenders. Um, so uh, we can uh, we're not going to waste time going to people that are lenders that we know won't provide the money. Uh, I also mentioned we're a bit more than well we're a lot more than just giving out uh, getting home loans for people. We're concerned with um, uh, building strategies and uh, people achieving the goals of paying the home off, building equity, creating wealth, all of that. So we're we're in for the long time, long term. We don't want the client. We don't want a one off with the client. We want to work with the agents and the client to build a uh, long term relationship. Um, from a finance or mortgage broker point of view, part of our job is to pay the mortgage off as quickly, the home off as quickly as possible, which is funnily enough against our best interest because of the way we're paid and we get a percentage of the ongoing mortgage. But um, the way we do it, we're not only trying to reduce that home mortgage, but we're trying to introduce uh, helping people get into uh, the investment and portfolio building side of it. So while we may be re reducing their home on one side, we're actually creating larger and larger loans on the other side. So many mortgage brokers finance book declines over time, ours actually increase because we're getting multiple sales from the client. Was that- Yeah, I, I, I was gonna say to you, I think that's one of the main things that I think it is a really good service that you offer is you are helping people do wealth creation and get you are getting them into debt but it's good debt it's yeah. debt that's going to make you wealthy yes. as opposed to i've got a car loan that's depreciating and it's you know it's going to end up costing me money and it's not going to be worth what it was when i paid for it you're actually getting people into good debt where you're using other people's money to make you rich essentially because they're you're investing in property and property's going up in value all the time. Yep. And you're using other people's money to um, to service it. So that that's that's a massive um, advantage for people. That, and, and I don't think many um, financing companies actually bother to take the time to explain that to people. Yeah, you know, well, I, I often say to clients, Guy, that if I can get you millions, millions of dollars in debt, I've done my job. Um, yeah, and it comes with exactly. a bit of a shock to them, but it, it, it's it's the truth. As long as the underlying assets are there and your cash flow is under control, um, you should sleep well at night. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, mate, I'll let you I'll let you continue. Sorry, I just thought. Okay, I'd just no, that's that, that's fine. And just on that point, too, on the cash flows, and that, that's another thing we take we we take in, into account. Uh, as I said, we're we're. Um, uh, we're, we're real estate agents as well, and we, we look at cash flows. Uh, it's the, the, No one benefits if, the, if we put the client into a property they can't afford and they go broke. Yeah, so, very true. Uh, so we certainly look at the cash flow side of it too. I mean, we, we might be able to get a, a client, say, $500,000 uh, in um, finance, but uh, it might not necessarily be in the client's best interest to run out and buy a $500,000 property. And it also comes to the nature of the property. If, you know, if, if, if cash flows tight, well, that, that's, a, that's a concern. So maybe we need to look at a, a uh, I'm talking more investment now, but maybe we need to look at a property that's uh, stronger on the, um, on, on the rental side, on the rental yeah. yield side, as opposed to capital gain. So, yeah, exactly. yeah. So there's all the, the, there's all, all those issues to um, to consider as well, and that's why we work closely with the agents. So they're 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 select they they're helping the client get the right property for their circumstances. Yeah, yeah, great um, stuff. Yep, and I guess just to uh, round it off, um, w w what's the benefits for? Um, my real estate advisor agents. Well, firstly, you're going to you're going to be getting rid of the tire kickers, and you're going to get be getting rid of the ones that don't qualify. So that's going to yeah. 
that saves you time more and gives you more time to focus on on people who are uh, who are really willing and able to move forward. Um, yeah, it shows intent and also fences your client in. Um, if if, if uh, we we do our job properly, your clients are going to love us. Uh, they're, if they're building a portfolio, they're not going to go anywhere else, and also they're going to tell their friends, obviously. And there's nothing better yeah. than referral business. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. And finally, it's repeat sales. As I said, the, your traditional real estate agent does a transaction, and it's not often they'll do a second transaction with the same client. Uh, it's our goal to do two, three, four, five transactions with that client over the next five to ten years. Uh, yep. and, and the the life value of your client is significantly higher. Yeah, yeah, which is a which is a, a massive thing to have repeat business like that, um, and people that are trusted, and also gain referrals because you've you've gone a, a way above and beyond. Yes, yep, and it opens up income streams for you uh, than the, you know the regular companies that are working with. Yeah, and, and that's yeah. The yeah, exactly, uh, and, that, and that's what it's all about. Yeah, yeah, and that's why the consultative approach is so important because you, we, we need to understand what we understand where, where the client is and where they're trying to get to, and we need to demonstrate that we're the ones that can get them there. Yeah, yeah, definitely, exactly. So I think um, I think we've pretty much covered the the process now. What what do you reckon yourself, Ashley? Do you think there's any more that needs to be added to this or? Are you comfortable with that? I think they, you, you, you know, we've got a link on the website that takes to your website, gets the form and everything else that they need. Um, I, we explained, you know, why it's important to, you know, possibly do a face-to-face -face meeting instead of um, just sending the form out to people hoping for the best. Uh, I think I, I think we should be pretty much covered. Was there anything else you wanted to add to it, mate? Or what no, well, look, I, I mean, I, I'd like to... I, I'll stop recording now, Guy. Um, yeah.